Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to these encouraging words together. I really cherish this time where we can pause wherever we are and find strength in the Lord as we turn to his word, as we put our our hope in who he is, the goodness of his nature, his incredible love for us. And as we turn to him in prayer, I truly believe we can find comfort, help, strength, and so much more whenever we open our hearts to the Lord. Thanks for taking a moment to do that with me here today. Some time ago, our associate chaplain, one of our associate chaplains, uh, Mary Myrink, um, I asked her to consider writing a series of reflections uh, about the verses of Psalm 23. And we have presented a couple of those um, to you already in these Encouraging Words series. The intent is we're going to put together a small booklet that we make available, especially to folks in our skilled nursing and assisted living areas, just to offer them a resource and encouragement based on that encouraging psalm. And so we have been slowly kind of working our way through this psalm. Mary has submitted to me now several different writing reflections, and she's almost done um, as she uh, takes time, a little extra thing that I've asked her to do. And today I'd like to share with you what she has put together for Psalm 23 and verse 2. Of course, you might remember Psalm 23 verse 1 starts off declaring how the Lord is our shepherd. And because he's our shepherd, we don't have to be in lack. We don't have to be in need. That he becomes the resource um, to meet us no matter what those needs are. He does that out of his great love, his care, like a shepherd who cares for sheep. And then right there, the first part of verse 2, the scripture says this, the psalmist writes about our great shepherd and says, He makes me lie down in green pastures. And uh, I just want to share a couple of thoughts about that. You know, a, a green pasture is one that's, if you're a sheep, that's one that's ready to eat. That's a, that's a pasture that's like um, a big banquet field. It's a place where there can be safety that there's freedom, that, that in the pasture, the shepherd brings you there, that you might um, eat to your fill and not go hungry while he stands watch over you. Some of those themes will continue in, um, in this 23rd Psalm. But Mary writes this. This is her little reflection, and I'd just like to share it with you. She says, God has pleasant places for you. Isn't that a, th- a wonderful thought? She's going to continue here for a moment, but let's just think about that. He has pleasant places for you. Did you know the Lord cares about our well-being? He's interested in the fact that, that we're meant to be safe and warm and well-fed and cared for. That doesn't mean that people never go hungry or go through difficulty, but it shows us his intent and that as he directs our lives, if we turn to him, if we recognize him as our great shepherd, he is a way of steering us through the course of our life, bringing us back to that place where we can find rest. Lie down in green pastures. We can find rest there. We can be safe there. This is God's heart for you and I. She writes, it requires trust to lie down in hopeful pastures. That means we're trusting that the Lord is watching over us, that he is attending to our needs. And yet she continues, she says, yet this is an opportunity to discover the beauty of who God is and who he created you and you and me to be. He uh, wants to be our shepherd. We're meant to be our sheep and we're meant to discover all the wonder of what that means his provision, his care, his protection, um, that he, he watches over us and doesn't just watch from a distance. He stands beside us. He leads us forward. And uh, that is his heart. As the Lord works that in our life, as he reveals himself to us as our great shepherd, Mary continues. She says, you might notice the Lord drawing your attention to things that would encourage us. She says to encouraging scriptures or maybe helping us to remember songs that lift us up or maybe he helps connect us to people with whom we can open our hearts and even feel safe to shed some tears. 
It's in the presence of the Lord that we find strength. It's in his presence that we find joy. She writes, in his pastures are infinite goodness and mercy. Did you know there's no limit to the goodness of God? There's no limit to the mercy of God. There isn't a point where you've exhausted the Lord's patience and he has nothing else to give. The Lord is infinite. He's not bound by those same boundaries that you and I are. If there's anyone patient, it's him. If there's anyone kind, it's him. If there's anyone loving, it's him. And that that attribute, there's no limit to that at all. And so Mary ends with this encouragement. She says, dare to stretch out in faith because God has good plans for you. And that means even plans for right now, today. That's part of what faith is, is in those moments where it feels like things are not good. When we face difficulties and hardships, faith stands back and says, despite what I'm experiencing in this moment, I have a hope in a Lord, in the Lord who is greater than what I'm currently facing and experience. The Lord loves us. His goodness is real and his intent always is to cause us to lie down, to find rest, to be at peace in green, luscious pastures. Uh, uh, um, uh, pastures, that's right. That's his heart for you and me. Do you need that today? I need that every day. Let's turn to him in prayer. Let's ask the Lord to reveal himself like that to each of us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity to seek you. I thank you that no matter where we are, no matter what state we find ourselves, we can pause and turn to you. We don't have to try to somehow get your attention, somehow redirect your steps and, and get you to turn and, and, and come and deal with us. Lord, your heart is ever upon us. Not a single sparrow falls to the ground, but you notice. You're the good shepherd and you are are always constantly watching over us. Lord, we turn to you. We choose to trust in your provision and care. And Lord, I pray particularly today for those who feel maybe caught up in a time of turmoil, a time of unrest, a time of anguish, a time of confusion, a time of, of heartache. Lord, in the name of Jesus, lead us into your peace. Would you cause us to lie down in a field of green? Lord, a place where we're safe, a place where we know that you're there with us. Minister to us, Lord. Take care of our needs. We turn to you, trusting in faith that you are able to meet us where we are. Let your provision come through in a very real and meaningful way, even right now. In fact, if you're watching, just say with this, this with me. Lord Jesus, I turn to you. Be my peace. Be my hope. I'm trusting in you right now. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. We receive that imp impartation of peace even right now. In Christ's precious name we pray. Amen. You know, you can do that anytime, any place. Turn and open your heart to the Lord. Call on the name of Jesus. He wants to meet us right now in the moment. I'm trusting he's doing that right now. Thanks so much for being with us. Here at Friendship Village, these videos air on our in-house television system, channel 2493. And this video will show at 4.30 today. It'll repeat at 8 o'clock tonight and then be shown once again 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. We do that every day, Monday through Friday. But you can also find these uh, videos online where we store them for our television system. And that's on YouTube, youtube.com. And if you go to youtube.com backslash, then that at symbol, and then type in FVC Chaplain, it'll take you to our YouTube page where you'll not only find under the video tab these encouraging word videos, but under the live tab, you'll also find many of our special services, memorials, events, Bible studies, 
and so much more. Feel free to make use of that. If you're watching and uh, online and you would like to send this link to someone else, please do so. And you can click on this circle right above to subscribe online to these videos. You should get, when you sign into YouTube, it should show up near the top of your list somewhere um, uh, near that top when we produce new videos. And then you can click on this box right below to see many of these encouraging word videos in our history. Thanks so much for spending this moment with me. May the Lord lead you into green pastures. God bless. We'll see you 